after less than a year of marriage... Sorry, it's just Paula's here and she's a bit upset. Um, Charles has written to Paula saying he wants a divorce after these pictures of Paula on holiday were leaked to the papers. You OK? Yes, yeah? I'm yeah, OK. Take a breath. I'm a strong woman. <laughs> yes, Don't <you> worry. <laughs> so we've just... Blur... Sorry, Nadia, we've had to blur those photos, obviously. Uh, um, yeah. Just explain to us what's going on in those pictures. Let me explain and let me tell you the absolute truth of what happened that night. Um... I spent the first half of the holiday alone because my friend's passport hadn't come through. He then joined me and we wanted a night out. Um, he's gay, I normally go to gay bars, so we headed to the gay strip. Um, met up with six lads, six lads who I presumed were gay because they were in a gay bar. Mm. Um, drinking shots, playing dares, being stupid. Um, and one of them said, oh, are, you, are your boobs real or fake? I said, oh, they're all real, you know. Um, one of them dared to put his head in my boobs. How ridiculous of me that I allowed him to do that. And that's called what? Motorboating? Well, apparently so. I got a phone call off my manager oh, saying, you've been motorboating. I said, well, I've not been on a motorboat, so I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know what it was. I had no, no idea. <laughs> yeah, I just news to me. Um, but in all seriousness, when I was mortified and I want to just quickly take this opportunity to say I am very, very sorry to Charlie. But, but hang on a minute, hang on a minute, you hang on a minute. Wrong? What you just said to me just sounds like a bit of hijinks. And why is it so awful? There's not really anything wrong with that as far as I can hear. Is that not... Is, well, I that's mean... me. I'm a, I'm a flirt. I'm an outrageous flirt with everybody. Um, and I'm just silly. Um... Is this the... Do you feel that this is the only way you can communicate with Charles now? Has he cut off all communication with you? Um, he, sent me, he sent me this letter. Um, his solicitor's called me. Um, but what's upset me, and, and I apologise to his family as well, and my family, because it's not nice to see your daughter in those kind of photos. Um, but it's hardly me in bed with a gang of men, is it? It's, it's being stupid and... Mm. Are you in... but I, uh... you, I know you've got the letter here. We can't no, show we the can't, letter. No. But what, what sort of... Give us the essence of pretty much what he's said to you. He said that he's... I've humiliated him. He's a man of great pride and I've humiliated him. Um, and I have, and I've humiliated myself as well. Um, I think I've just forgot, you know, yeah, I'd had shots, I was, I was on holiday, I was with my friends, I was in a gay, gay bar. I, don't... I, I just have to... This is the man who is known as Britain's most violent prisoner. On the level of behaviour in life, I'd say he's pretty... Yeah. Uh, well... Do you not feel that... <sighs> You're being made to feel bad about something, but actually by a criminal who's Do you know what, awful... Stacey? Do you know what, Jane? As, as humiliation goes, I have been very humiliated. I come on this show, I've done media because Charlie wanted me to do that and said he was non-violent, he was this, he's that. Within months, he's re-offended. Then he's re-offended again. Then he's re-offended again and again. And so it's sort of throwing your trust back in your face. Yeah, so Can... I'll come on here. And thank you, by the way, Jane. I'm sorry for grabbing your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because you warned me and I didn't listen to you and I didn't listen to my mum, I didn't listen to anybody, um, because I follow my heart and I'm a decent person and I have worked so, so hard for that man. Do you, do you Has he actually it... asked you for a divorce? He's, no, he hasn't... He, he, won't, he refuses to even visit me and let me... If He should know, of all people, that the tabloids twist things. He's been in the media for 44 years and he knows that the tabloids... But twist you're talking things. about him but... like he's a reasonable man. Exactly. He's not it's a reasonable man. Well, you are being totally controlled and made to believe that a simple act on a night out is the most devastating, terrible thing you could have it, done. It... As Jane says, from his position, I would say that's a flaming cheek. Here, here in the... Um, it, it says here the divorce papers will will be in the post. Has, has anything arrived by his solicitor? Not or... yet, no. Are no. you hoping to reconcile this relationship? Are you no, hoping... it's done. I ain't going back now. That's done. It's done. I've made... You know, and, he's, and the grounds that he's divorcing me on um, is made very clear as well. Uh, it's Which not is just, what? It's not just that. Um, it's because he's said that I've got an alcohol problem and I've got a drug problem. We've actually got a statement right, yeah, from got, him, actually. I, I've so got it here, because uh, obviously he knew yeah. we were coming on the I'm show today and we... Give him a right of reply. So this is his official statement. Paula has disrespected me, my mum, and most of all, herself. 
I can't accept that kind of behaviour from somebody supposed to be my wife. I don't she say that also that. has a drink and prescription drug problem, which makes her do crazy things. I can't be involved with somebody like that. <clears throat> I, I'm reading this because <laughs> this is the statement. Me. I don't agree with any of it. I absolutely abhor alcohol and drugs. She needs to get help. I'll miss her, but she needs to sort herself out or she will be dead in two years. Is that an indirect? Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. He's it. talking about... Oh, about the alcohol, the alcohol right. and the drugs. Right. Do I... you think you have a problem or is he making this up? I have got... I have got an alcohol problem. I have got a drug problem. I've got a prescription drug problem. I've had it for years. Every... Have you or has he told you no, you I, have? No, I have. Every single messed up thing I've done for a long, long time is through alcohol. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And he's made me realise that. <laughs> Um, but you've got to want to stop for you, not for him. Oh, I want to stop. Yeah. I want to stop. You've got to be careful that I would say that you don't give him really the glory of The moral that. high ground, yeah. which well, he yeah. cannot occupy under any circumstances. Yeah.